Hi, you're tuned in to Gospel Interviews. I'm Larry W. Robinson. Gospel Interviews features special guests for an unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed conversation about anything gospel. You never know who will drop by to join me on the broadcast. So stay tuned for an exciting conversation right here on Gospel Interviews with your host, Larry W. Robinson. Stay tuned. Welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. Who my guest today, this brother's video has went viral at least five times. He was a featured guest on America's Got Talent, hosted by Nick Cannon. Travis Pratt is my guest today. Welcome to the broadcast, sir. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Oh, I'm honored to have you. Of course, you know, we just said that your your video, your presentation from America's Got Talent has, has went viral again. <laughs> yeah. That means people are watching. Yeah, people are watching and, and, um, and forwarding the video, et cetera, et cetera. Well, first of all, I'm honored to have you. Have you heard of gospel singing on the spot before? I have, actually. Oh, cool. Okay. So, you know, we give you a song out the clear blue sky and say sing, right? Right, and I'm nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> don't be nervous, don't be nervous. <laughs> okay, now this is such a cool story. I, I love this story. So your girlfriend, who you're so passionate about, um, told you, she heard you singing or she hears you singing a lot. You're always singing to her. And you have an interesting style of the way you sing. Well, it's not interesting, but you know, if most folk, most normal folk just don't be singing the way you be singing, uh, for lack of a better way of saying that. So she said that you needed to go on America's Got Talent. Yes, sir. I and did. So you're up there. You're talking to the judges, and and uh, you t- you told them your girlfriend told you that you should come on. And I think I was I ain't gonna lie. I thought you was gonna do a Luther song or something, because you just kind of had that look. And <laughs> then you open your mouth and start singing. My mouth dropped. The judges' mouth dropped. Half the audience' <laughs> uh, mouth dropped. They was like, oh my, and I'm not going to lie, and I'm sure you've heard this. I said, Mm-mm, there's got to be a track going on somewhere. <laughs> this brother is not singing like that on live TV. No, it's just not happening. But you stood by your word. You said that that was you singing, correct? Absolutely. It's All me. right. Okay. So you've been the, uh, the discussion of many people in the barbershops, beauty shops, the mall, everywhere, because we are in doubt that that was actually you singing. Well, today, I mean, you've done it before, but today... You're going to prove to the people, and this is a great platform to do that, to prove to the people that that was indeed you singing. Right. Um, what better platform than gospel singing on the spot? That means you have no clue what I'm about to ask you to sing, correct? And that's why I'm nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. So uh, here we go. What we do, of course, is give you a song out of the clear blue sky and say sing. Now. You, 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 a church boy, correct? You play at church and all that, right? Yeah, the right to fly, all that. Okay, good deal. So, um, I'm going to give you a church song, but I want you to sing it in the style that you sang on America's Got Talent. Cool? I got you. Yeah. Okay. And I think a perfect song for you to do that, because I actually heard, um, Lucretia Campbell, you know who that is? I do. Okay, good. So, you know, Lucretia Campbell kind of has that style, too. You know, of course, she sings more gospel, but she could do some of the classic on opera as well. So, yeah, she's trained. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So, with that said, I think I want you to sing a song that's in that good old hymn book titled, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. All right, all right. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Uh, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I think I know that one. Let's, let's pray that I know the words. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so whenever you're ready, Great Is Thy Faithfulness by Travis Pratt. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no fear of turning with thee. Has 
Wow. Let me ask you a question. Now, when did you know? Because, you know, some of us, you know, especially male singers, we, we sing tenor, and then we might throw a high note in there every now and then. But when did you know that you could pull that off through a whole song? Larry, man, I always had it. Like, um, let me tell you how I fell in love with opera. You know, my um, my mother would pick up all of these these, uh, these tapes and stuff like that from the yard sale. She brought home a Lantine Price tape. Wow. I was probably about nine to ten, maybe maybe twelve, something like that, fifth or sixth grade. And um I listened to her sing um the aria from Il Trovatore and you know from Forza, the the Pache Mio Dio, which I still sing to this day. And you know, I mimic it forever and of course I just kinda hear it because, you know, that's 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 not you know, people don't do that, especially not one from. And so I just kinda did it in secret. I knew at that point it was foreign, you know, to my body. I didn't understand it, know the language, but it connected with my spirit immediately. I knew at that point I was going to be an author thinker mm. wow. from, from that moment. So I ended up, you know, going to school. You know, I guess a lot of people saw me on TV. They don't realize I'm actually trained and degree, but I'm actually a tenor. Okay. I'm not a soprano. I just happen to have that. And I sing around the house, you know, my girlfriend hears me do it all the time. And um, she convinced, she actually tricked me into doing America's Got Talent. That's the truth about that. What you mean? How she tricked you? I didn't know what we were doing. Um, oh, okay. she, she, called, she called me and was like, we're going to San Antonio. We go to San Antonio all the time. So I just okay. thought, okay, well, and she had the clothes packed and everything and, and <laughs> drove me up to the convention center and was like, okay, here we go. Wow. That's amazing. And, um, well, of course, you know, the rest is history because, I, I mean, I sat there looking like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, the cool part, everybody, it was a little tearjerker. Um, of course, when they when they brought your your girlfriend on stage and you got to propose to her on, on national TV, I thought that was so cool. Right. Yeah. Good deal, Travis Pratt. Um, of course, he was featured on America's Got Talent, hosted by Nick Cannon. And that video, you can actually go search for it. It has been viral dozens of times, but you can search for it today. Uh, what's the name of the song? Or they can just actually search it by your name, correct? Yeah, they can search it by my name and America's Got Talent. All right. Do me a favor. You're working on some new music. How can our listeners connect with you? Are you on Facebook and Twitter and all the other social networks? I'm on all of them. Uh, my Facebook artist page is facebook.com forward slash Travis T. Pratt. That's okay. facebook.com uh, forward slash Travis T. Pratt. And I'm on all the others, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Leading Tanner. Okay, good deal. And it's um, P-R-A-T-T, Travis T. Pratt, P-R-A-T-T. Travis Pratt, thank you so very much for being my guest today on Gospel Singing on the Spot. Super. Thank you. Glad to be here. Oh, no problem. You've been tuned in to Gospel Interviews, an unedited, unscripted, unrehearsed conversation about anything gospel. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. This broadcast was produced by TC for TC Productions. The music bed was provided by Angela Christie from her latest release, The Breath of Life. For more information about this particular broadcast, visit our official website at www.gospelinterviews.com. 